your girl was stunning my vacation look book hey guys and welcome back to my channel I'm Prudence Holly. If this is your first time seeing me and you've not watched any of my vlog, you just happen to click on this bell. My name is Prudence Holly and I am a Nigerian YouTuber based in Worry, most time Lagos, but I presently reside in Worry, Delta State. Yes, the city of oil and <laughs> oil. <laughs> Yeah, so guys, this is my lookbook. Let me acknowledge my returning subscribers and viewers for turning up for your girl and watching another episode of my vlogs and watching this particular vlog. Well, on today's vlog is my lookbook, my vacation lookbook. Yes, guys. So I, should I say privileged? Because that was my first time traveling out of Nigeria. As a whole, I'm so happy, like I'm super excited. I did this vacation with my husband and should I call it a vacation or vacation? But I would just put all of them in one because I've never gone for a vacation before. Outside Nigeria, I have traveled to other parts of the states um, in Nigeria, but not outside Nigeria. Kenya was my first trip, official first trip. And I was so happy, I was super excited. I literally miss the city. I miss the weather. I don't miss the food, no. I miss the weather, I miss the culture. Yeah, there are so many things to learn and see in Kenya. I pretty much did not do everything I wanted to do. I wanted to go to the China more, yeah. But I really didn't have time because I went to Mombasa and my kids had to resume school. So I really did not have much time in my hands to like browse around the country as a whole, go to all those villages that are fun, sightseeing to be like when I watch other Kenyans on YouTube, I see other places. I'll be like, oh my god, I really did not go to these places. I'll, I'll tell my husband and he'll I'll be like, um, we need to go back to Kenya. ASAP, you need to start saving or uh, bringing more income so we can go back to Kenya. I really love the country and I miss it so so much. And if you're a Kenya, yeah, watching this particular vlog, mwah, thank you so much. You're your country is amazing. I wish you find time and money wise to come down to Nigeria. I'll be your tour guide when you come down to Nigeria. You get me? So, today's lookbook was from when I actually went. I won't be taking the lookbook from the airport here in Nigeria. Although I was something I got from Shin. And mind you guys, I haven't really uploaded my shin wears yes because i'm still editing that it's taking longer because i had that video done i did that video before i left for kenya and i don't know maybe because it's stuck on my phone i'm having very i'm having difficult time transferring it to my um laptop and then editing it as a whole but i will show you guys that soon what i got from shane and for this particular vlog is my vacation look book so the first item the first dress actually i wore like i said was from the airport but when we got to lagos airport i was denied uh we denied our flight i missed my flight obviously for some other reasons you can check this video down here for the reasons why i missed my flight i won't be saying down here so you, just go watch the video and see why I missed my flight. For the first time, I was putting a simple gown. Yes, I don't have any videos, but if I see one, I will put it up here so you guys can see it. And then the second time, I actually made my flight. So I decided just to put on simple brown top I got from Shane 2. That video really needs to go up. So I put on the black brown top with a pair of jeans and some slides because I don't want the airport's problem of pulling my shoes and can. So I just put on a pair of jeans and some slides, yes. So the next outfit that I actually put on was blue. Yeah, it's kind of blue. 
and since the weather was so cold i had to pair that with my jacket and a blue jean and my fendi pump so simple that was my second outfit for the day in kenya so that's gone that's not really like my top 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 clothes i put on because i mostly packed gown for dinner dates and dress but happened it happened that Kenya was so cold, I did not know what to put on. Like, I was still adapting to that weather. So, going out the second day and then you're putting on a short gown. And the weather is, like, you're freezing. It's, the weather in Kenya is much more worse than Nigerian weather. Nigeria, Nigeria is hot. Nigeria is like Mombasa, if you, have, if you have been to Mombasa. So, that's how Nigeria is literally. So, putting something short is like... Ah, what am I doing? <laughs> like you're coming into a city that's very cold for the first time, you get me, and then you're putting on something so short. No, so I decided to just pair that, wear that um, two combos together. Um, I put on this Shein top. Most of my things I got from Shein, but most I got from the boutique here in Worry. And I put on this top. It's like um, how would I say it? What's the English word for that? Um, it goes downwards if you're a girl watching this and then you can buckle, please. If you know the name of this particular top, please put it down in the because I have forgotten the English word for that particular top. And then I had to put on the Zara jean. Yeah, I love the Zara jean. My only issue was that it was so long. The length wise was just too long for me, but I had to, when, but by the time I paired it up with my heels, girl, your girl was stunning. And this picture, yeah, this particular video is going up today. So if you're watching this vlog, like, like, I don't know the date I'll be uploading, but if you're watching this vlog, just know that this particular video of when I paired um this top with this zara trouser has gone up already on youtube just go to my videos and look for it and watch it it's so nice i think the title was or is um date night something nairobi living or nairobi vlog yeah so the next outfit was the one i wore to meet angel she's also a kenya youtuber yeah guys i had fun i met other kenya youtubers because if you're a youtuber you have to meet other people you can't just go to another city and not meet other people no that's bizarre so i put on this pink gown uh, it was i was so it was so hard buying this clothes i got it from nigeria boutique a nigeria boutique here in worry city because um Pink is not really my thing. I prefer um, green, yeah, blue, black, white, brown. Yeah, I'm gradually adapting to that brown color. Pink is not really my thing. Pink is not really my my taste and clothes. I don't like pink color. Most girls like it, but I'm not that. Oh, if it's not pink, it's nothing. Yeah, you get me. So I obviously paired that with my slippers my simple heel slippers and with angel the look was so amazing i put it up on instagram and wah, i got so much likes and comments and if you're not following me on instagram and you want to and you want to see more of my pictures and my behind the scene that i upload on youtube behind the scenes before i upload on youtube brother go to my instagram at mrs big name if the missus is not like mrs m r s is m h i z z big name yes and you'll see me pop up on your screen <laughs> just like that i've lost count on the number of outfits so my trip to mombasa the green top i put on there and the trouser were new pairs of clothing for me also the sh the new top was from Shein. I really have to put up this Shein haul for you guys to see how amazing the Shein clothes I got was so beautiful. I really have to put it up for you guys to see. I wore this green top. It was so amazing but only issue that 
I got a medium size. I would have gotten a size higher that was like a large because the back had problems. I had problems with the back area. It was just too tight and it, you know, the chain is crossing over and it was just, just too tight for me. So the next outfit was this one. I wore uh, the breakfast in Mombasa. Simple gown. I think it's from Boho. I got it from Lagos. I got it from an online shop. Just let me leave it. Yeah. in Lagos so so sexy and short so super short I decided to put on my short gown in Mombasa because of the weather was friendly it was much better than the weather in Nairobi <laughs> so the next outfit was this green gown I love this green gown I just love how sexy it was or is on me I took much pictures, videos, I did a TikTok video with this gown, yes, I got this gown from the same boutique I got from the ones I got other, other clothing in Worry, yes, I got this gown there, so sexy, oh my god, oh my god, you should see my backside, <laughs> I'm so, I'm shaking my small bump guys, please forgive me. And now the next outfit was a two-piece. Yes. Green. I told you guys I love green. Like, green is my, is everything to me. Like, the way people love nude. I just became a fan of nude recently. I was not really a fan of nude. But I'm gradually falling into that nude stream. Nude, white, black. I love black. Most of my clothing are black. I'm putting on a black top now. I wanted to put on a blue, a nude, but it's like every other thing here happening here. My background is nude, so I decided not to go with a nude. So this green up and down two piece, yes, green two piece, is 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 fine. I wore this to breakfast in Mombasa, and that same day I was heading out out of Mombasa because for the two days or three days I spent in Mombasa it rained throughout when picking a time for vacation you should also check your weather check the weather of that country and when I asked someone why it rained so much in Mombasa one it was close to the coast yes the second one the period I went to Mombasa was a raining season I wasn't supposed to go to Mombasa on a rainy season. I was supposed to go to Mombasa maybe July, August, but not on a rainy season. So it was a no for me. And I I, I would say I regretted my experience. I, I, I still had fun in the hotel because the hotel was something else. Mm, I love it. English points. Yeah. So the other outfit I put on was this that I decided to put on simple outfits. That was for my first meeting with Linda Mary. I met a second YouTuber, guys. Yes. And that was with Linda Mary. Yeah, I also had breakfast with it. I took cook pictures with my hubby. And I met Linda Mary. These are the pictures there. I don't know if I should upload this before the meeting up with Linda Mary, but... I definitely we have to edit and then check it out but if you're seeing this before the vlog with Linda Mary then you're lucky you had to see it you have to see the outfit before it appeared on my videos on my channel with Linda Mary the last but not the least was this cool outfit I wore for the last dinner before I left for Nigeria Oh god, I'm already crying. Yes, I love this look so much. I I went with my bare face without makeup just to grab a nice dinner. I have to check the name of the restaurant and I'll put it down so you guys can try it out. Um, it was a rooftop restaurant. It was so, so nice. So, so amazing. Scenery was awesome. Top notch. Their food was 100 over 100. I wish I went there with a YouTube bag. Man, Everything about them was hospitality, services, was awesome. No, this is not a paid video, but I have to, you know, you have to give accolades for who deserves accolade. And they deserve that accolade, guys. So this is the outfit I put on. Simple gown. Where did I get this gown from? Yeah, a boutique in Worry. I, that 
but it's mainly based on she gets her things from the uk yeah and then she just they send it over from the uk and she sells it here in nigeria she sells good things and i also got a primer 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 bag yeah also got a primer bag from her and it was so fine i love the outfits so comfy not too tight medium size no yeah a medium size but i was a size small because i went i lost some weight and i went downwards so i'm trying to build up that weight back as you can see it's coming back <laughs> it's coming back so um yeah that's all for my look book vacation look book guys i have nothing more but if any other thing comes up you'll be seeing it on my channel as a vlog and not a vacation look book vlog anymore so guys stay tuned for my sheen haul um vlog coming soon when i'm done editing hopefully <laughs> after this particular vlog so i really appreciate if you've watched my video to this point i really appreciate it so so much please do well to hit the subscription button if you haven't and please turn on your notification bell so you'll be alarmed on any time i share a new video like this and more and of more travel vlogs so guys love you and kisses and also follow me on instagram the logo is up here, my name and everything. So, love you guys. Thank you. Bye.